jumping, jumping, jumping for joy. Back at Impact Field. Really jumping for joy here. And then the adults not so much as we bring you back. Seventh inning and a new pitcher for the dogs. This pitching change brought to you by M&M Limousine and Bus. It's Harrison Smith, a two-way star for the dogs who recently has been going back and forth, back and forth. Last night in Fargo, hit a home run. He's earned the moniker Home Run Harry with good reason. He's tied for second on the team with six homers. But then a night after hitting the home run and playing his role as Home Run Harry, here he is on the mound making what will be his fourth appearance. The two-way player, Andrew Bellison, it's a lost art. Yeah, you, you're absolutely right. It's a lost start. Not an easy thing to do in this, especially in this game. Harrison Smith, Shohei Otani, the two men left standing at the top <laughs> of the two-way players. And Smith's right now dealing with Anthony Seymour. And the center fielder takes a strike. So Jake Dahlberg out of the game with 85 pitches. Went six innings, four runs, seven strikeouts, and one walk. A workmanlike Dahlberg effort, but he's in line for the loss. And as we've harped on all night, maybe he doesn't deserve to be, but that's how the ball's gone. 3-1, 3-2. Yeah, that's the definition of tough luck, and really that's the only way to put it. You look at the line, look at the numbers, you say, wow, he did everything that he needed to do, and he did. Only gave up five hits, and would be the tough luck loser, but still plenty of time. Drive to left, Metzger, he's there. Well, that ball really carried well off the bat of Seymour the other way. He kind of slashed that line drive to left field. And with that swirling wind, you never know. Here's another look. Pitch middle away, and Seymour slaps it to left. Good carry, but Metzger able to get a bean on it in the wind for out number one. Battle of the threes here. Brandon Chinea against the dogs. Numero tres, Harrison Smith. Harrison in his third season with the Dogs. Carving this niche as an everyday shortstop, except the days when he's not. When he's available out of the bullpen like tonight. And this one lazy into shallow right, it's tricky. Foul ground, there's Hobson. Two gone in the seventh. Sam, that's a phenomenal play. And you praised him earlier for his defensive footwork at first base, which is something that is very often overlooked by a first baseman. His footwork is great, by the way. But take a look at this. That ball carried pretty well into shallow right, into foul territory. Now keep in mind, Hobson is making that play with his back to the ball. He's turned away from the infield. It's the only way you'll get to it in time. Turns, finds it, and makes the catch in shallow right and foul territory. That's an awesome defensive play by a very good defensive first baseman. I know he made his dad happy. Butch Hobson, the fourth-year dogs manager, places a premium on defense, seeing it out of his own son tonight. And the 1-1 on Anthony Ray, who's 0 for 3 tonight. Kent County left fielder battling with Smith. Dogs have trailed since the third batter of the ball game. Gavin LaValle went yard, and Ray very upset with this. It's a 1-2-3 for Harrison Smith. A home run yesterday, a 1-2-3 seventh today, and now the Miller Lite seventh inning stretch. Ray. 